You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. About remaining celibate, I have no directions from the Lord, but give my own opinion as one who, by the Lord's mercy, has stayed faithful. Well then, I believe that in these present times of stress, this is right, that it is good for a man to stay as he is. If you are tied to a wife, do not look for freedom. If you are free of a wife, then do not look for one. But if you marry, it is no sin, and it is not a sin for a young girl to get married. They will have their troubles, though, in their married life, and I should like to spare you that. Brothers, this is what I mean. Our time is growing short. Those who have wives should live as though they had none, and those who mourn should live as though they had nothing to mourn for. Those who are enjoying life should live as though there were nothing to laugh about. Those whose life is buying things should live as though they had nothing of their own. And those who have to deal with the world should not become engrossed in it. I say this because the world as we know it is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your Lord, pay homage to him. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. The daughter of the king is clothed with splendor. Her robes embroidered with pearls set in gold. She is led to the king with her maiden companions. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. Son shall be yours in place of your fathers. You will make them princes of her all the earth. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Alleluia. 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 Rejoice and be glad, your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Fixing his eyes on his disciples, Jesus said, How happy are you who are poor, yours is the kingdom of God. Happy you who are hungry now, you shall be satisfied. Happy you who weep now, you shall laugh. Happy are you when people hate you, drive you out, abuse you, denounce your name as criminal, 
on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice when that day comes and dance for joy, for then your reward will be great in heaven. This was the way their ancestors treated the prophets. But alas for you who are rich, you are having your consolation now. Alas for you who have your fill now, you shall go hungry. Alas for you who laugh now, you shall mourn and weep. Alas for you when the world speaks well of you. This was the way their ancestors treated the false prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, as we now make our prayer for our community and for the world, let us all pray to Christ the Lord, not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for the entire people. For the whole Christian people, let us beseech the abundance of divine goodness. Christ graciously hear us. For those who hold public office, let us call upon the power of the Lord. Christ graciously hear us. For the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, let us call upon the judge of all humanity. Christ graciously hear us. For all of us who pray in faith and ask the mercy of the Lord, let us entreat the compassion of our Saviour. Christ graciously hear us. Incline your mercifully to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.